Hello everyone, the time has come for the ultimate bookshelf tour. I'm gonna show every single book that I own in a single video, so it's gonna be a long one. I'm not gonna waste your time anymore with this talking. Let's get into the books. Here are the shelves that you will see today. We have the main shelf, which you can see here. We have the shelf over my desk, which contains some Penguin Classics and Oxford World Classics books. And then we have my Everyman's Library books, as well as some Oxford and Penguin books as well. And let's start off with some Foolish Society books. We have Haruki Murakami, Norwegian Wood and Kafka on the Shore, The Book of the New Sun by Gene Wolfe, a signed limited edition, very nice book. And we have a Roadside Picnic, a fairly new Foley Society edition. And we continue on with more Foley Society books. We have John Kay's India and China, two great history books. We have some Mongolian books, Ballad's Empire of the Sun and the Dynasties of China. And here you can see the lovely cover of China, a history by John Kay. And here we have Outlaws of the March, a lovely fantastic deluxe edition from the Foley Society. We have Monkey by Wu Cheng and Royal Tyler's Japanese Tales. Confucius, the Analects, Sun Tzu, the Art of War in a lovely silk binding, A Hero Born, Chinese Fairy Tales and Fantasies, and the wonderful Pillow Book of Sei Shonogon. And next up we have some books that are accompanied by Lord Ganesha. We have three volumes of The Epic of Ram from the Murti Classical Library of India, and we have five volumes of the Bhagavata Puranas from Motilal Banarsidas Publishers. Next up are some of my limited editions. The first one is Alice in Wonderland. This one is from the Full Society, illustrated by Charles Van Samwick. We have Geoffrey Shaw's uh, Troilus and Crusade, also a limited edition from the Full Society. The Pilgrim's Progress by the Full Society. Anthony Trollope, The Duke's Children. And my most rare book in my collection, The Color Out of Space by H.P. Lovecraft from Shelter Bookworks. Next we have Ukiyo-e, The Art of the Japanese Print. Japan Style, The Kojuki. A History of Japan and The Book of Tea, all from Tato. The Tale of Genji, a companion book. Haruki Murakami's Killing Commendator. Kasui Shiguro, Clara and the Sun, Living in Japan. And Araki by Araki from Tashen, which is a book that I, if I show it on this channel, I have to censor it very heavily. And then we move on to a more spiritual shelf. We have The Way of the Buddha, the Dhammapada, in that small book on top of the Majima Nikaya and the Dika Nikaya. We have In the Buddha's Words by Bhikkhu Bodhi, Approaching the Buddhist Path and Foundation of Buddhist Practice by His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Venerable Thupten Shudran. We have Dream Yoga by Andrew Holicek, Awakening the Buddha Within, Living Buddha Living Christ by Thich Nhat Hanh, and The Heart of the Buddha's Teachings by Thich Nhat Hanh. Tantra Illuminated by Christopher D. Wallace and Kashmir Shaivism, The Secret Supreme and the Shiva Sutras by Swami Lakshmanyu. And next up we have the illustrated Mahabharat, the illustrated Ramayana from DK, Indian classical dance. I really enjoy Bharatanatyam dance, especially the Mahabharat by Karol Satyamurti, a history of magic from DK, and the Library of Esoterica series from Tashin, Witchcraft, Tarot, Astrology, and Planned Magic. And then we move on to my Sylvia Plath and Ted Hughes collection. We have Red Comet, a biography of Sylvia Plath, The Colossus and Ariel, The Journals of Sylvia Plath, Moon Whales, The Hawk in the Rain, Crow, Difficulties of a Bridegroom, Birthday Letters, Tales from Ovid, The Cat and the Cuckoo, a signed limited edition by Ted Hughes, Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath from the Foolish Society, and we also have The Northern Shakespeare. We continue on with Gods, Demons and Others by R.K. Narajan, a Signet Classics book, Bhagavad Gita, The Song of God, Ada by Roberto Calasso, a book I'm reading right now, a fantastic book, Alan Booth, The Roads to Sata, a lovely biography or a travel memoir of Alan Booth, which I highly recommend, The Tale of Genji, translated by Royal Tyler, we have the Sailor Who Fell From Grace With The Sea by Yuki Mishima. The Makioka Sisters by Yunichiro Tanisaki. Some prefer Nettles by him as well and In Praise Of Shadows. Then we have First For Love by Yuki Mishima. Yasunari Kawabata's The Master Of Go. Haruki Murakami Books, Wind Pinball, A Wild Sheep Chase, Hard Boiled Wonderland and The End Of The World, The Wind Up Bird Chronicles, IQ84 and the hardcover edition of 
Norwegian wood from a vintage classic, which I will probably not collect. And then we have the Book of Rites, the complete Ji Ching, the complete works of Duangse, the Zuo Chuan, the Book of Songs, the Ji Ching again, Carl Jung, Memoirs, Dreams and Reflections, Manned and His Symbols by Jung, the Gnostics Jung, and a very short collection of a very short introduction series, uh, Hinduism, Modern Japan and Jung. And then we have some rather big and chunky books. We have On Yoga from Tushin, Hieronymus Bosch, Gaudi, Hiroshi gave 100 famous views of Edo, fantastic edition. Hokusai, Beyond the Great Wave, Understanding Architecture from Faden, Japan the Cookbook, also from Faden, and the Wristwatch Handbook. And here is one of my latest collection points. We have The Wooden World by N.E.M. Roger, The Isle of Voices and Other Stories by Robert Louis Stevenson, Master and Commander by Patrick O'Brien, Memoirs of a Seafaring Life, The Mutiny of HMS Bounty, Two Years Before the Mast by Richard Dana, and two companion books to the Aubrey Maturin series, Harbors and High Seas and A Sea of Words. And here on this lovely shelf, protected by No Face, we have The Art of Princess Mononoke, The Art of Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, The Art of Spirited Away, and The Art of House Moving Castle, all by Hayao Miyazaki movies. We have Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind by Hayao Miyazaki the manga, we have Usagi Jojimbo by Stan Sakai, and the ghost in the shell a manga and then starts my collection of norse mythology and sagas we have saxo grammaticus a history of the danes we have the poetic in prose edda in swedish we have the poetic edda in another translation in swedish kalavala the finnish national epic islandska mythsagor icelandic myth sagas a wolf's head by shani oats a signed edition further a skuda saga which is a uh, retelling of uh, the Norse sagas of the gods, the mythology, the saga of the Volsungs, translated by Jackson Crawford, the wondrous Hovamol by Crawford as well, and a signed edition of Jackson Crawford's The Poetic Edda, the saga of the Volsungs, and the sagas of mythical heroes. We have Snorri Sturlason's King Sagas in Norwegian, The Battle of Maldun by J.R. Tolkien, and we have The Hero with a Thousand Faces and Goddesses by Joseph Campbell. Then we have The Essential Rumi from Harper One. And some Full Society books which are on the verge of being sold or I don't know what to do with them. But we have uh, William Morris News from Nowhere, The Mandarins by Simone de Beauvoir. Homage to Catalonia by George Orwell. A Life in Letters and Diaries by Orwell. And Hugh Thomas, The Spanish Civil War. And down here at the bottom of my shelves, we will find some books that might be sold very soon. I've done my fair bit of searching within Christianity and it didn't really bring me the answers that I wanted or that I needed. So uh, I'm not going to keep these books, maybe some of them, but not all. So I'm going to just breeze through this one so you can uh, see the books that I'm more interested in later. But within Christianity, I'm very interested into mysticism, and that's pretty much the only part of Christianity that uh, still has any interest to me now. So some of these books I will definitely keep. We have the Gnostic Bible, Sevdo Dionysius, uh, the other Gospels, the Gospel of Mary of Magdala, the Nag Hammadi, Scriptures, the Essential Writings of Christian Mysticism, God is a Verb, Adam, Eve and the Serpent, the Book of Enoch, the Ancient Mysteries, Gnosticism, uh, Mystical Dimensions of Islam, and Tolstoy, the Gospel in Brief. Here is the Complete World of Greek Mythology, a great beginner's book for those interested in Greek mythology. Spinoza, Complete Works, The Complete Works of Plato from Hackett, The Complete Works of Aristotle in two volumes. We have uh, Letters on Ethics by Seneca, The Arabian Nights, the Dhammapada, the Bhagavad Gita and the Upanishads and how to read a book. And down here, the last of my main shelves, we have some of Full Society books that I will sell definitely. We have The Voyages to the Moon and the Sun, The Quran, The Egyptians by Adam Gardner, In Praise of Folly by Erasmus, Hassan and Life in the English Country House. And here we have one of the beauties of my collection with Green Tara on the front cover, The Magical Murals of Tibet, the companion book to the limited edition from Tushin. And here is my yet incomplete 
collection of the Usagi Yojimbo saga by Stan Sakai. These are the signed limited editions of Stan Sakai's work. I have volumes 3 to 8. And here is my J.R. Tolkien collection. It's small, but it's uh, quite nice, actually. The Silmarillion, uh, the deluxe edition illustrated by Tolkien. The Lord of the Rings, also illustrated by Tolkien. The Hobbit from the Foley Society, a very nice edition. We have The Fall of Numenor, The Complete Guide to Middle-earth, Beren and Luthien, and The Children of Húrin. All of these four books are in the standard hardcover editions from HarperCollins. And down here we have even chunkier and heavier books. We have the complete works of Michelangelo from Taschen, the complete works of Caravaggio, Peter Bruegel uh, from Taschen as well, Japanese woodblock prints, a massive edition, and we have 100 Aspects of the Moon by Yoshi Toshi from Abbeville Press, a limited edition. And here we have Kay Nielsen's 1001 Nights, a special edition from Tushen with a lot of prints from Kay Nielsen's illustrations. Cities of the World from Tushen and also Expanding Universe from Tushen as well. The facsimile of the Gutenberg Bible, two volumes with a companion book from Tushen. And up here we have two works of Ukiyo-e, we have Hiroshige and Aizen, the 69 stations along the Kisokaido, and also Hokusai 36 view of Mount Fuji, as well as Japan 1900 portrait in color from Toshin. And then we continue on to my shelf that is above my desk. We have the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, Vatsyayana's Kamasutra, the Way of the Bodhisattva, Lao Tzu, Tao Te Ching, the Homeric Hymns, Greek Lyric Poetry, Theogony and Works and Days, Consolation Myths, the Library of Greek Mythology, the First Philosophers, Epictetus, Pindar, the Complete Odes, Livia, the Rise of Rome, Book 1, the Quran, and Frasius, the Golden Bow, the Rig Veda, Hindu Myths, the Mahabharat, the Bhagavad Gita again from Penguin Classics this time, R.K. Narayan's the Ramayana, a lovely edition, really recommend this one. Confucius, the most venerable book. Tao Te Ching, again, the diary of Lady Murasaki. Essays in idleness and hojuki. Basho, the epic of Gilgamesh, Greek tragedy. Fragments of Heraclitus. Curious, the art of happiness. Xenophon, a history of my times. Yasunari Kawabata, the sound of the mountain. Snow country, thousand cranes. Then the Lions, Beauty and Sadness, Territory of Light by Yuko Tsushima, Hermann Hesse, Hermann Hesse Demon, and Roberto Calasso Car. And also at the end here, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Leaf Storm. And then we move on to my final bookshelf, which will include a lot of Everyman's library books and some Penguin classics and some Oxford World's classics. I'm not gonna name all of these books because I've pretty much shown these Everyman's Library books in another video and I haven't got that many new ones. So I'm gonna save some time for myself and let you enjoy these ones without me talking.
Wow, so that was all of the books that I own. This video took a lot of time to make. Uh, now I remember why I only do this like once every two or three years. <laughs> but a lot of people are always asking, where is the bookshelf tour? Here it is. Every single book that I own. I hope all of you are happy with it. It took time, it took effort, but I'm pretty happy with it. And honestly, this is the first time in a very long time that I really feel happy and pleased with my bookshelf. And so that's why I decided to make uh, this bookshelf tour right now. Um, it has, if you have followed my channel for a while, you know that the bookshelf has changed a lot. I have sold a lot of books. And here's, here's a cat in the background. Um, but um, I'm always selling and buying new ones and expanding my collection and focusing my collection on different books and subjects and themes. Um, a lot of books that you saw on the lower shelves will be sold in the future and I'm going to replace them with books that I'm more interested in like Buddhism instead of Christianity, uh, Hindu religion, uh, Hindu texts, Hindu mythology ukiwoe art books, uh, Japanese literature, things like that. So that's what you can expect in the future from this channel. But I'm so happy to have finished recording this. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And remember, if you see any book here on my shelves that you want me to make a specific, special, detailed video of, then please leave a comment and I will make sure to film that in the future. But that was all. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next time.